big legal trouble. I'm running like Nike, we got it on lock. Young Thug and Gunna now among 28 people charged in a massive gang and racketeering sting out of Georgia. Authorities say they believe the two are associated with the Atlanta-based YSL gang, and they're accused of conspiring to violate the state's RICO Act. Young Thug's team released a statement to ABC News saying Mr. Williams has committed no violation of law whatsoever. We will fight this case ethically, legally, and zealously. Mr. Williams will be cleared. ABC News also reached out to Gunna's camp but has not heard back. So let's unpack this a little bit with the help of journalist and author of Trap History, Atlanta Culture, and the Global Impact of Trap Music, A.R. Shaw, and criminal defense attorney Bernardo Villalona. Thank you both for being here. Uh, A.R., both of these rappers have reach that goes way beyond Atlanta. We just saw Gunna at the Met Gala last week. So what's the impact right now to rap culture? Definitely. You, you talk about Young Thug and Gunna. They're not just local stars. They're international stars. Uh, Gunna, uh, a few weeks ago, was on Saturday Night Live, and as you mentioned, he was at the Met Gala just a week ago. Young Thug has had multiple uh, number one Billboard albums. So the impact on not just the city of Atlanta, but the entire hip-hop culture is actually look, looking at this incident, and we're all shocked at this moment. Now, Bernarda, both of these rappers are being charged with conspiring to violate the state's RICO Act. That's a big charge within itself. Can you explain what that charge means? Exactly. So usually when you see RICO charges, you see that being charged by the federal government. But in this instance, it's being charged by Georgia, by the Fulton County District Attorney. And pretty much what she's trying to say is that these group of people formed the criminal enterprise for the purpose of engaging in certain illegal activity and to perform the ends of that organization. What I see here is something that is very very destroying in terms of that is going to destroy the hip-hop industry especially when you're talking about one of the top rappers who just got a grammy award in 2019 i believe for childish gambino's uh this is america song now ar can you talk about the footprint both of these rappers have in their communities because they're both still really connected to the neighborhoods that they were raised in Definitely. I mean, we're talking about Young Music. Uh, young Thug and Ghana have given back to their communities tremendously. Um, just uh, last September, Young Thug, uh, Ghana, he opened a grocery store in his middle school, his former middle school, which is McNair Middle School. And in the grocery store, students can get free food, uh, snacks, clothes, and uh, they just have a, a healthier options when it comes to food. And so we've seen both of these artists not just uh, have an impact musically, but definitely in the community. They also teamed up last year to uh, have, they, they created, they paid bonds for multiple inmates, non-violent inmates in the Fulton County Jail uh, who couldn't, didn't have enough people who didn't have enough money to pay their bonds. So we've seen uh, Young Thug and Ghana both give back to the Atlanta community, community tremendously. And so just to have this, this indictment is definitely uh, something where the community is, is shocked and also it have an impact of having these two guys not being able to give back the way that they have. Now, Bernardo, do you think the philanthropic work that they do will have an impact on the case? I mean, and it may have an impact in terms at the time of sentencing or to actually present this at trial if this case were to go to trial. Because as you can see from the indictment, which is what, over 88 pages, we're talking about 56 counts, we're talking about 28 defendants that are part of this indictment. So there's still a lot to see. Just know that he's just being charged with two counts and that's with Rico, as well as being a part of a gang, which he can face anywhere up to 20 years just on the first count. And Bernardo, there's something interesting here because the indictment references hip hop lyrics. Can song lyrics be used in court? Absolutely. And this is a trend that we have been seeing for the last decade, especially with the feds, not only just hip hop lyrics, we're talking about hip hop lyrics, as well as music videos, as well as social media. So a lot of that is going to play a huge role in this prosecution and which I, I believe that they already have chosen certain of those lyrics in order to go forward with this indictment. And what I can see also possible cooperators in this case. All right, A.R. Sharp, Bernardo Villalona, thank you. What up, what up? It's Wise Ones Entertainment TV, bitch. 
It's G Prospect in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all y'all heard about what's going on with Young Thug. Yesterday we discussed uh we discussed that him, YSL, and Gunner, well really Young Thug got arrested, and I guess 28 members of YSL, all of them got arrested, and Gunner was still on the run. So in the next video, we're gonna be talking about Gunner and how his little thing went. But um right now we're talking about Young Thug. What happened with Young Thug, man? So they're saying back in they're saying back in uh 2015 and 2013 that there was two murder attempts on YFN Luchi. And um I'm thinking, well, no, 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 let me not let me get it right. Let me get it right. What it was is that a couple months ago, YFN Luchi said Young Thug had attempted to kill him in jail. He basically hired two guys to kill him off in prison. So y'all remember when YFN Luchi had made a video about how he was getting attacked and punched on and beat on while he was in jail and stuff like that. So um, basically what happened in 2015 and 2013, uh, a, a YFN member had got murdered in 2015. And there's some other shit that happened in 2013. So they just been watching Young Thug ass. They've been watching Young Thug for probably seven years or more. And probably before since he got famous, you know what I'm saying? So right now, it's not looking too good for Buddy, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not looking too good. Right now, it's like um, his lawyer had already gave a statement saying that, you know, he's going to fight for Thug, and he said he's going to make sure Thug gets out, and he's going to walk about this thing, you know, without doing any time. But we all know how these RICO things work, and so apparently with this RICO, this is not federal this is a state, this is a state charge. So now, so Georgia, the state of Georgia had decided that they they want to be on some RICO shit too, even though, so even though the feds have not picked it up, the state side to push a RICO on them. So I guess what they basically trying to say is YSL is a gang, not just a label. And they, they, they feel like they're a violent criminal organization. And then uh, they're saying the same thing about YFN. So both of these two gangs, which I'm alleged gangs, you know what I'm saying? But they're saying that basically these guys named their labels after their gang, which wasn't smart. It wasn't smart at all to do that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. They should not have named their gangs and their labels off. At least they could, you know, protect the label and the label's assets and everything like that. But if they get convicted on this whole gang thing, everything goes up in smoke. The label, the money, Everything just goes. Y'all remember what happened to BMF? Remember what happened to BMF? BMF was doing something similar where they, where basically they had the street shit going on and they had the uh, music shit going on all at the same time. When BMF folded, all of it folded. So we, we they just gotta be careful. You know what I'm saying? Well, BMF's case was a federal case, I believe. So their case was federal. So right now, what it's looking like. Is basically the state is filing RICO charges on Young Thug and them. And it's because basically they got tired of the feds waiting so long to do it. Or the feds did not have enough evidence to move proceed towards them. So right now, Young Thug is locked up. And uh, they already have a video. So they already have a video of him sitting there talking to his lawyer and the judge and everything like that. So we're going to be showing that, y'all. It's Wise Ones Entertainment TV. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all for listening. I'm going to fuck with y'all niggas. Fuck with me later. I'm going to hit y'all up in the next video. I'm out.